Hey, this is Jake from Network Nerve, and this is episode 6 of the Pong LWJGL series. And in this tutorial, we're probably going to go over the ball uh, that collides with the paddle. So, we're going to make a new class, call it Entity Ball. And then we're going to extend Entity. And add our constructor. So we're going to make a few variables. So public long last collision. And this will be used for a later reference for collision detection. And we're going to set a few things in the constructor as well. This dot speed is divided by 2. This dot position x uh, is equal to pong dot display width oops, display width divided by two and this dot width divided by two this dot position y is equal to pong display height oops display height divided by two minus this dot height divided by 2. And this will set the ball in the center of the screen and make it go a little slower so the game is actually playable. But you can change that if you want. Um, and we're going to set the motion so it starts moving when the game is played. Set speed. And this dot motion y this dot speed and this dot last collision equals zero. So now we're going to make an on update and do handle collisions pong. And let's make that method. And this will be the function that handles all collisions between paddles and the sides of the screen. So if this dot position x is less than zero, this dot bounce x. And we're gonna make this method. And for the bounce, this will basically change the motion x coordinate and reverse it. So this dot motion x equals negative this dot motion x. We're also going to make a bounce y. This dot private void bounce y. This dot motion y equal to negative this dot motion y. So now go back to your handle collisions function and do this dot position x plus this dot width is bigger than pong dot display width Uh, this dot bounce x. So now we're gonna set another if statement. This dot position y is less than zero. This dot bounce y. And for the last one, this dot position y plus this dot height is bigger than pong dot display height and make it bounce y. So now that we created the ball class, we're going to go want to go into pong and initialize it public entity ball the ball. 
and go to your init function and over here you're going to do instance dot the ball equals new entity ball instance and you're going to want to go into your world class and do this dot entities dot add pong dot the ball and let's just give this a run and you should see that the ball is bouncing across the screen but as of right now it does not collide with the paddle it just goes right through it so that's what we're going to be doing next so exit out of this and go back to your entity ball class or actually go back to pong and we're going to make a function inside here um, we are going to name it public long get system time and return sys dot get time times 1000 divided by sys dot get time oops get timer resolution and this will be used for timing so we can uh, make sure the ball isn't colliding too quickly with the paddle and bouncing all around um, so go back into your entity ball class and go to handle collisions and we are going to want to make a boolean called collision and set to this dot rect dot intersects oops intersects with pong dot the player dot rect and make an if statement and do if oops collision and pong dot get system time minus this dot last collision is bigger than a thousand and do this dot bounce x and this last collision equals pong dot get system time so basically what we did is we got a boolean that checks if the ball is colliding with the player which you can see right here and then we've checked if it's colliding and it's been basically 1000 uh, since the last collision which is about a second um, then it will change its uh, X motion and it will set the last collision to be when it collided. So let's just give this a quick run and let's try to get this ball to collide with the paddle. Yep, as you can see, it collided right there. And let's just give this another test before we're happy with it. and you can see it collided again so that should be good for this tutorial um, in the next tutorial probably going over the enemy paddle that will play against you um, so I will see you in the next tutorial <laughs>